All right, since we got everything out of the way, we might as well start with this power supply. And to be perfectly honest, I don't like this power supply because of that. I mean, it is, it's got way too many power lines coming off of it. And I'm not going to be using like half of them. So I, I have to use it right now because it's the only one I have. But if you were in this situation buying a Dell to try to, you know, come up with a, a budget system, just, you know, it's a lot better just to get a new $40, $50 EVGA and be done with it. We're just going to see if this power supply fits right now and go with it. I don't think it's going to fit. It's too long. This is the actual latch for the door. So we can't do anything about that. We can't get it out of the way. And it appears that this power supply is going to be too big. Damn it. So the power supply won't fit. It's not a complete disaster, I suppose. I'll just go ahead and um, put the motherboard back in get everything cleaned up, install the graphics card, then I'll go on Amazon or Newegg and get a more modern power supply that's a little bit smaller that'll fit. The one thing that you also have to take into consideration is these SATA plugs right here are going to be underneath this big huge graphics card. So this one actually has a 90. Well, these two, they don't have a 90 on either end. All right, well, maybe we should do a little dry run with this graphics card and see if it fits. That is a ridiculously big graphics card. All right, it already looks like it's hitting the SATA cables. So this is the deal. I installed this 750. Um, you guys have already seen how this 750 runs in the HP and to tell you the truth it still runs the Witcher 3 like shit <laughs> so there's really no point in me showing you guys that video um, I'm just going to continue on with this project of installing the HD 7970 um, I got these SATA cables kind of pushed down flat and what I'm going to do is just cut some of that plastic shroud on the um, HD7970 so it'll clear these cords and I'm also going to be putting in a different power supply what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking out the uh, EVGA power supply that I have in the 390 just for testing um, it's a little bit on the weak side probably it's a 500 watt but it does have 40 amps on the 12 volt, volt rail and that's more than enough. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and pull that PSU, install it in this and uh, we're going to work on that shroud on the graphics card and try to get it to fit over these SATA cables. This power supply I got from a guy off of Craigslist for $15 but let's go ahead and uh, swap this PSU real quick. Shouldn't take very long. Alright, I got this hooked up. It's a little bit of a cluster, but whatever. I mean, we're not using any of these Molex plugs, so I just kind of folded them up and stuffed them into this hole right here. Pretty much ready to go. Now all we gotta do is uh, work on getting that graphics card in there. So I really don't want to cut into that shroud too much, but it's gotta be done. Hopefully open it up to where it's still not taken away from the actual fan action but providing a spot for those those SATA plugs to hug up into. I've never taken apart a reference cooler before. bit of bad news. I already tried to fit it in there and these SATA cables are just too too far off the board. Pretty much installs but then 
Look at the fan. The fan is like totally just solid up against the SATA cables. So even if I were to cut this shroud, um, it still wouldn't clear. It's still, it's actually hitting. Let's take this thing back out. See how it's a 90? It has this little pull tab right here. And this little pull tab is just through the plastic. And I'm actually going to cut that plastic off to make it even, even shorter. I have these two cables. They're like the opposite direction as this one. So this one can plug in this way. But this one has to plug in this way. And we're going to pretty much kind of try to flatten it out and snake it around the ram. It doesn't look as clean as it did, but we're not really interested in that right now. We're just trying to get function. Now we got like two low profile SATA cables, nice and flat with the board. And we'll try to plug this in again. Spinning nice and free. Seems like there's probably going to be enough room now for that shroud too. All right, we got the shroud back on. Looks like it fits now. And I can't see on that bottom edge, so I'm going to take this little plastic card and I'm going to try to slip it through there. That set of cable might still be a little bit high. <sighs> Maybe I'll try to trim that set of cable up a tiny bit more, just so I'm more confident with it. All right, now it's now it's definitely just as high as that red one. It clicked in nice. This time, instead of using that plastic card because it's it's actually kind of thick, I'll use uh, my little drawing of the Pimtato PC. <laughs> See if we can slip it between there. And no, it's still resting right on top of those SATA cables. You know what, I can slip it in though, right on top of the red one, but not the black one. So, I'm gonna trim it just a tiny bit more. I wanna be able to get a piece of paper between there. That actually kinda of felt a little better. Maybe it did need to be trimmed. Let's take our piece of paper. All right, see that? Now we can slip the paper in there. And the last thing, last but not least, Let's do some power. All right, there she is. We put our power plugged into our crazy ass GPU. Whew, that was kind of a lot of work, to tell you the truth. Let's get it upright and plug it in and see what happens. All right, you guys ready? I'm not getting any. Uh, display. I don't know if that's because of the, the drivers or what. Alright, I just went and grabbed the driver for the HD7970. No AMD hardware found on the machine. What the? So yesterday when I was working on this computer, I was unable to get this GPU to be recognized on the board and I've done a bunch of updates I updated the BIOS on the board it was on A13 which is four or five years old and they just released a new BIOS this past year in 2017 and now on A20 so I installed that I um, updated all the Windows 7 stuff I, in, I updated the chipset drivers from Intel and I haven't tried it yet but I'm going to plug it in and see if it'll boot and recognize this card. The card is in. Nice and clicky. Let's plug in the power. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. I can't get this graphics card to be recognized. So what I'm going to do now is use the actual manual and disk from the card itself and see if it'll install. I am going to follow this these instructions to the T because nothing else has worked yet. I've already tried this 
I don't even know why I'm trying it again to tell you the truth. I've already disabled the onboard graphics display. Disconnect the monitor cable from the onboard video card and connect it to the newly installed diamond video card. I'm not anticipating this working. Okay, it's shut down now. We supposedly have disabled the onboard graphics and now I'm gonna I plugged in the card. Now I'm gonna reboot it and see if it detects that. But I don't think that we're gonna have any video coming onto this screen. And we're not. We already already it would already popped up. Hmm. I'm gonna screw that up. Finally, I finally got it to work. I can't believe it. Man, that was a pain. So after trying over and over to get that HD 7970 to be recognized, you know, in, in the device manager or even by the Radeon software, um, when I was looking back here, one of the I.O. tabs had been bent down when I shoved the motherboard in to install it. I actually caught the little IO shield tab and it bent it down and it was stabbing into this display port. And I don't know if that's what was causing the issues, but after I noticed it, I loosened up the motherboard and pulled it back and um, bent that tab out of the way and then put the motherboard back in. And after that, um, the Radeon software recognized the hardware and installed drivers and everything. So I'm still not 100% sure if that was the issue or not. It's um, installed, everything worked out good. And if anyone knows if that could have possibly been the issue, maybe it was like shorting something out to where it wasn't, you know, recognizing the hardware or whatnot, uh, let me know in the comments. It was a pain in the ass. I'm glad I got it fixed. Ugh.